welcome back to my nursery finally i am back again with another video it is nighttime now it's monday night so this video won't go up until tomorrow on tuesday at some point i'm going to try to put this up early tuesday but nevertheless i am happy to be back recording a video for you guys checking in saying hello how's everyone doing um just really wanted to be able to come and do a video because i haven't done a video since last weekend um i was planning to do a video this past weekend but you know how that goes sometimes you just can't get that free time you know to fit it in to record um but anyway i'm happy to be here this evening finally um i haven't had any free time all day i thought i would have free time earlier but it didn't work out that way so here i am doing another nighttime video and this evening, I am here with my beautiful, adorable little Yasmin Taylor. Um, she is the Tate Asleep, sculpted by Clea Taylor Dolls. And she was finished and completed by Taylor Doll Studio, which is the sister company to Clea Taylor Dolls. Um, these dolls were sold on Claire Taylor Dolls website. So although it was completed by Taylor Doll Studio, it is still pretty much under Claire Taylor Dolls right now. Um, it, they don't have a separate website yet for Taylor Doll Studio. But these babies are now sold out. So they are no longer available as as um the last i heard as far as i know the last one was tate asleep number 10 and i believe it already sold but don't quote me on it you can go check on her website and see if number 10 was already sold or if it's still available so that is um cleartaylordolls.com and Claire Taylor Dolls also has a YouTube channel, Claire Taylor Dolls. So anyway, that is just who this little girl is. And I've had her for a year now, um, if you're new to my channel. She is a full body silicone. And I will be changing her in this video. So I will undress her in a minute. Um, she is a basic model meaning she doesn't have armatures or a drinking wet system. She is just poured all in one piece and she is anatomically correct. She is nice, soft silicone. So the And she has an open mouth, as you can see, I'm feeding her. She has a nice floppy tongue in there and gums and all of that. Her mouth looks very, like, very realistic, like a real baby's mouth on the inside. Um... So anyway, welcome to my nursery. If you're new, let me say that. Please subscribe if you're new. Hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I do new videos. And please, everyone, give the video a thumbs up. Please hit, hit the like button for me. And also, thank you to my friends my loyal subscribers and supporters who have been around supporting me for years from my old channel to this new channel thank you guys so much who always just watch all of my videos and you take the time to comment i really appreciate you guys that have just pretty much been sticking around from the beginning so this is the bottle that she came with it looks like it is a rubber latex nipple, but it is not. This is a silicone nipple made by Clear Taylor. So I, I do like this bottle because it really does look like this nipple is rubber, like the old fashioned bottles, but it's not. It's actually silicone. So it is safe. 
for your silicone babies to have that bottle, that nipple. So this baby, she, I just love how she feels. Love her silicone. And I had switched out her earrings. I just realized that. And I have to put some more back in. I didn't do it. I was supposed to put another pair in. And I realize now I never did get that other pair out to put back in her ears. But we will do that after the video now. <laughs> so this baby is about um, nine, no, 20 inches long. And she is about 9 and a half pounds so she has nice weight to her she's a nice length and she is definitely nice she feels really nice to hold and cuddle i really like this silicone blend that she is um she just feels really different from all of the other clear taylor dolls that i've had as far as the kit edition dolls this baby is an addition doll but she was poured in the kit edition silicone blend and that means because claire taylor pours her addition dolls that she completes on her own herself from start to finish they are called her completed dolls or her addition dolls and they are poured in a different silicone blend from the dolls that she sells blank you guys might hear my little grandbaby crying. She's sleepy and she's fussing and doesn't, she's fighting her sleep. Um, but she's with her mommy. So I don't have her today. Her mommy has her and it's her bedtime. So she needs to go to sleep right now. But anyway, so this baby here was poured in the kit edition silicone. So she, um, is what Clea Taylor pours the dolls in that she sells blank, which are called blank kits or blank sculpts that you paint yourself. This baby was sold fully completed by Taylor Doll Studio, painted, hair rooted and everything, but she was poured in the kit edition silicone. But I've had so many other dolls that were sold as blank kits by Clea Taylor but this baby is one of my newest. She was created last year in 2022. And her silicone, I must say, it feels like totally different from all of the other Clear Taylor dolls that were poured in this uh, silicone blend, the Kit Edition blend. So this is what I'm taking off of her. I love these sleepers. Um, they are by Mayoral. And it says love is the answer with this little heart on it. And it is in this pretty beige cream and beige little khaki colored speckled um, sleeper. And I really love it. I didn't want to take it off of her. That's why she's just coming out of it now. I didn't even dress her for Halloween. She, Her and Layla didn't get dressed for Halloween. They are my two Full body silicone girls. I, if you guys notice that, watch my channel. I dressed all of my other babies in my nursery for Halloween, except her and Layla didn't get dressed for Halloween. And that was intentionally done. I didn't really feel to put them in the Halloween outfits for some reason. But she's going to get these tights with these ladybugs on it. And it's like, this is like a, almost like a burgundy color. It's not a deep burgundy, so then it kind of reminds me almost of like a plum or something color. She's going to get this gold headband, and as you can see, the tights have the gold little feet. And then the dress is all mustard gold knit with the ladybug on the bodice. And it has the same stripes in cranberry on the onesie. And the little collar is trimmed with the mustard. And this is by Next Baby. And I've had it for so long. It's one of my favorite outfits. So she's going to get to wear it tonight. Um, Because I think Layla wore it last time. Last fall. It, it just says fall to me, this outfit. 
So I wanted to put it on Yasmin this time. I don't think I put this on Yasmin, but I could be wrong. But I wanted to put it back on her or put it on her or Layla. I kind of let one of my babies wear it every fall since I've had it. So this is the back of Yasmin. And you can see her flexible neck, which nicely turns from side to side. And she is the Tater Sleep number two, if you can see right there. Um, Claire Taylor's Edition Dolls, which this is the Taylor Doll Studio Edition Doll. She normally puts their number behind their ear. So she has a number two behind her ear. She is sparsely rooted. You can see like all of the blushing and everything on her scalp right through her hair, which I love that because she's so sparsely rooted. If you can see that. It makes her look very newborn and I do like that. So her little hands can rest on her chest even though she does not have armatures. Because the silicone is rather soft, it does make her arms very mobile and you can kind of just put them up on her. So it's not like so terrible because she doesn't have armatures. You kind of can still place her arms up on her. And that is the inside of her mouth with that floppy tongue. And if you notice, even underneath her tongue, it has that little skin that we have. Like her mouth looks so super realistic inside. Okay, so I'm going to leave her cloth diaper on. And this little set is in a size, I think this is a one month size by Next Baby. Yeah, this is up to one month. And she can fit this size, her and Layla, which is nice that they kind of wear the same size, both of my silicone girls. And an update to my silicone search, as I said in my previous video, or one of my previous videos with the last video I did, I believe, with Layla. Um, I was saying I'm shopping for a silicone baby, searching, and believe it or not, I'm still looking, and I can't seem to make up my mind. <laughs> it's like so difficult right now for me to make up my mind as to what do I want. Every time I pick one and I say, okay, I'm, I'm going to go after this one, this is the one I want. Then I change my mind because then I look at the another one that I like also. And then I'm like, well, maybe I should get this one. So I just can't seem to make up my mind at the moment. And I'm also trying to shop on a budget and not overspend past a certain amount. I have an amount in my head that I don't want to go past. And I'm trying to also stick to that. So then that makes it, as I said, harder for when you're trying to buy something. And you're also, you want to get something that you want. You want it to be nice. You want to be content when you bring it home. But then you're trying to stick within a budget. So it kind of makes it a little bit more difficult. To say the least, when you try to shop in a budget. But yeah, so that's a little update on that. And I wanted the baby um, to, I wanted to get it for Christmas. But here it is, guys, November. Today is the 6th, I think. Monday, November 6th. And I haven't ordered anything yet. And the thing about it is when you want to order stuff, basically most things, but especially the dolls, say by Christmas, everybody's also, not everybody, but a lot of people are wanting new dolls for Christmas. So then it becomes a time thing where, you know, if you wait too close that you may can't get it home for Christmas. Because if you get a blank, it still has to be, you know, cast and poured and all of that stuff. And it depends on how many customers the, the sculptor may have. You know, they can only get so many dolls out at a time. If you want a completed doll, then again, they, they have to do everything painted and all of that stuff. So that takes the definitely even more time. 
So I don't know even like when I was looking at one of the artists um, and sculptors that I'm interested in her dolls. She has up now her delivery date would be like the end of December or like close to the end of December if you order it now. So I haven't even made up my mind and ordered anything yet. So it's already pushing it close if you could even get it for December at this point. So it looks like if I wanted it, you know, it's a new baby for Christmas, I probably went past my ordering time. But I'm not going to rush because I don't want to just rush and order something and it's not really <laughs> what I want. So it's possibly uh, could be where I order it and I don't end up getting it until the new year. But that's okay. As long as whatever I come like whatever I come up with, whatever I, you know, end up ordering, that I actually like it and I'm gonna be content when I get it. That's the main thing. Cause I do not order a lot of babies now. I don't order, you know, very often. I don't bring home new babies a lot, especially silicone. So therefore, when I do bring one home, I want to be sure that it's you know what I really want. I don't want to just rush and bring home something just to get a new baby and then it's not what I want. And then I'd be selling it as fast as I get it out the box. I'm putting it back in the box and, and sending it off, you know. So I don't want to do that. But I am excited to get a new baby. I definitely want to bring home a new baby. I don't know what happened, but I definitely have baby fever fever <laughs> so i am looking forward to bringing home a new baby and what else did i want to talk about in this video because this is not going to be a super long video because it is late but i did want to come and at least change yasmin because she hasn't had like a dressy outfit on in a while i wanted to put her in this little dress and so I said, I'm going to definitely try to do a video tonight. No matter how late it is, I'm going to try. These little tights look so cute on her. And I didn't move my changing table because when I was going to move it, I decided I better leave it like this for now because I am definitely like squeezed in this room. This nursery is way smaller than my original nursery. And every little bit of space counts. <laughs> so I figured out last week when I was going to change this table around and move it, that I would lose a lot of wall space if I turn it around the way I wanted to turn it. So I decided not to move it right now. Because I have so much stuff in here. If I don't put the stuff right, I'm not going to have enough space. And excuse my grandbaby for crying, making noise in the background if y'all hear that. But she is upset. And when she get like that, that means she want to go to sleep. She goes through that sometimes. She throws a tantrum instead of just going to sleep. So we not going to make the video too long because I don't know, can y'all hear all that crying in the background? I'm going to see, can I go put her to sleep for her mother? <laughs> I'm going to go see, can I help her out to get her to go to sleep? And if you're new to my channel, my granddaughter is now six months old. Most of the time I'm watching her. Um... So that's why sometimes I don't get on to do a video because I'm watching my granddaughter. And that is her. If you hear the hollering, the crying in the background, that is little Miss Alora. So we, I was going to talk about a topic in this video. And, of course, I don't know if I have time now. What am I doing next? See, I don't know. When my granddaughter cries, I like, I want to get to her. <laughs> so, now I'm not concentrating. I'm listening to her cry. And she's like, Grandma, come get me. That's what I'm hearing. Come get me. So, anywho. 
I will talk about my little topic in my next video. Oh, I know what it was. It's not a long topic. At the beginning of the video, for those who are new, if you heard me explaining where this baby came from and how I went through that whole thing, I did that because a lot of new collectors coming into the hobby, when we do videos and we're saying like the name of the sculpt, they don't understand exactly what we mean. And I notice I'll say all of that. And then under my video, someone will still ask me, what doll is it? What's the name of the doll? How do I go about getting it? So I'm finding that although we're saying all of that stuff, new people, new collectors, they don't quite get what we mean when we're saying all of that stuff. So when you're looking at someone's video or you see a post for a doll that's for sale um, or the doll may not be for sale, but you're interested in having one of the same doll or finding out if that doll is available, what you want to listen for if you want to know what doll it is, is if the person says the sculpt name. Like I just said, this baby is um, the Tate Asleep by Claire Taylor. So that is this baby's sculpt name. She's Tate Asleep by Claire Taylor Dolls. And I said she was completed, which she was painted and her hair was rooted by Taylor Doll Studio. So that is her sculpt name right there, Tate Asleep. Then if you want to go and look for this doll, I also said her website where you would find this doll, where she was being sold, is ClearTaylorDolls.com. So that is how you would look for this baby. I gave you her sculpt name or the kit. Some people may call it a kit. Um, is Tate Asleep. And then I said you would find her on ClearTaylorDolls.com. That means the sculptor or the artist has their own website that you can go and search and look for dolls and see what they have available. So that is how you look for the dolls. Now, if it's a Vinyl Reborn or other dolls, say my Vinyl Reborns, um, the video that the person asked about the doll, it was a Vinyl Reborn I had in that video. So with the Vinyl Reborns, again, they also have their kit name. And then most of the time, if it's a blank Vinyl Reborn kit I'm buying, I buy them from McPherson's Crafts.com. So you would also, again, go to McPherson's website and look around on there and look for the kit name that I said to see if they still have it available. And you'll see all of the other blank kits and all the other things that they sell on McPherson's website. So that is where I get my vinyl reborns from. And I believe also they sell silicones on, on McPherson's, but I haven't bought any from there. Um, blank kits of um, sculpts of silicone babies as well. But that is what I was saying on that video. And I guess the person didn't understand when I gave the kit name. And then I said, you go on McPherson's or I buy my, my blank vinyl dolls or reborns off of McPherson's. So you want to listen for the kit or sculpt name. And then you want to listen to see if the person says where they bought the doll from or how to go about buying the doll if there's a website. Just in case that's confusing for people and they don't know what we're talking about when we say that. Um, so those that's one of the places you can look for vinyl reborn dolls that are blank is McPhersonscrafts.com. And this baby, like I said, is ClearTaylorDolls.com. Uh, you can go in there and look and see what dolls she has available in her store if you're in interested in her dolls. Um, and also subscribe to her mailing list and she sends out emails whenever she has new dolls available. So that is all 
for this video and I didn't want to make it too long and I got her change and there she is with her little outfit and I didn't put any shoes on her so thanks for watching guys and we'll be back soon with another video take care